Hello everyone, it is Grungy Girl Journals, Lori B. I am here today to show you Sophie. I have shown her before, but just kind of quickly, and I flipped through the pages, and I've done a little more work in her, and uh, I do have somebody interested in it. It's on reserve, but um, I wanted to do something a little, um, a little more thorough just to give her an idea and you all an idea of, of, of what she looks like inside and to explain a little more in detail what I did for the cover. So this is a regular, pretty much a regular size journal. I have not measured it, but it's just pretty much your standard size. I used a piece of a christening dress um, very, very soft. It's like a cream color christening dress um, for the skirt. And this middle piece is from, I believe it's a table runner. And it's this uh, pretty, sagey, very pale green uh, that I hand dyed. And then this one is also, this was a napkin. That's right, this was just an oversized napkin, and it used to, if you can see all these holes, it used to have stitching, and it was brown. It was brown stitching, and I didn't think it was too terribly interesting the way it was. So I took all the stitching out, and a lot of it was broken and um, torn in places, so I didn't really mind too much taking out those stitches. Normally I feel a little bad when I take somebody else's work out, but in this case it was really falling apart and um, it really uh, goes well now with with the journal. And as you can see it just wraps around like a skirt. And this piece that I used for the bow is off of another christening dress and it is the sleeve and I just left everything on it as is it's you know it's it's got raw edges and just really really sweet and thin and so soft and this must be Sophie I love this picture um, I've used her before She's just very sassy. And I just did a little uh, collaging. And uh, this is uh, like a very, very light blue. And this is an envelope. So she just tucks in the waistband. I wanted to show you the inside of the skirt. So it's all hand done. I got, I uh, believe I got this smaller lace from Lavish Laces on Etsy. It's one of uh, one of my favorite Etsy shops. And Jazilla is the owner of that shop and she is a sweetheart. So I would, she has, she has beautiful laces and beautiful ribbons, but what I really really appreciate about her her shop is she has smaller laces like this you know quarter inch um, to half inch and then it goes up from there but I find that she has the prettiest little laces and it's hand done you can see my stitches there So I would say this is a little bit of a lighter blue, and then you have the sagier, sagier green, but they go really well together. And it's a double button, and I did that because the journal itself has plenty of growing room. I have it on the tightest right now, and um, you can always go up to this second snap if needed and I kind of see this this journal as a writing journal but also it would be a great journal for pictures for old vintage pictures of family friends um, just taped in and um, I explained a little bit 
in a previous video about the papers that I dye and I hand soften and hand age. Some of them I just I want them to kind of get the showcase and not put a lot in the journal. So that's what I've done with this one. Um, the, the papers are just very pretty and they feel good and would be just so pretty as a drop, drop backdrop against um, handwriting or pictures taped in. And this is a beautiful linen. It was a sample piece. And you can't really tell in you can't really tell that well maybe you can it's like a slate blue and it's very faded and that's the way it came and it's got some grays in here it's just it, it's it's probably my favorite piece of fabric that I've ever used and I've used every single bit of it I've used little pieces of scraps here and there on other on other journals and uh, I made it also had a bird on it and um, I made a tall skinny with the piece that had the bird on it and now I don't have this any more of this fabric there's a butterfly right there so all of this is also hand stitched I just did some of my my doodle stitching around the edges and kept the edges raw the inside are these beautiful doilies and I have lined these pockets with heat and bond so it feels kind of rubber on the back but it'll just give you a little more um, you know wearability taking things in and out and there's two of those doilies for pockets this was a I think it was a bath linen towel, like a hand hand towel. And it, it is also dyed that pretty sage green. I just did a little tag here that says words have power. And this digital, and then I believe the rest of the digitals I used inside are from different sellers. So this one is, um, I don't even remember who it was. I will try to remember to put it in the description box. <coughs> Excuse me. But then the rest of them in the book belong, uh, are from a different seller. And one of the things I added were these tabs. And that's just on every signature, which there are seven. Yes, yeah, seven signatures and look at these tiny buttons these are covered buttons and these are uh, that same pale slate blue and then I mixed it with these ivory colored ones and that's the real deal aging on those buttons and those are sewn on those are not glued and then these little pieces right here, what did those come off of? I think it was just a, some lace that I deconstructed and used little pieces and put those on the sides. But I wanted this whole book to look very aged and worn and it's soft and just, it, it, it feels so good in the hand. It really, really does. And uh, it's, it's got so much room in it. I, you could probably double it and it would still close flat. I don't even have a closure on this. And it, it would still close flat. Love these digitals. And I did a paper clip. And I believe I put a picture of this one on my Facebook. And honestly, it took me forever to do this. I don't, I don't know why I have such a hard time with clusters. I, and I hand sew everything, so I don't, I don't glue. I just don't like the way the glue feels. So I want it to be very soft. I used a rusted paper clip, 
and I did two clusters for this book. I might do a couple more. I might give it a go today and see if I can do them a little faster, but all of these pieces are just little. Um, most of them are antique. Most of these are antique, and then there's a vintage button that's really worn away, and then this these rings came from a dolly. very very pretty and I just sewed sewed the paper clip on back so it's right over there so I had fun with the middle the middle of these pages I wanted to look to make it look like it had a lot of patching done so I got out some I guess I think this is Japanese from a Japanese book and it's you know very very lightweight paper so I just used scraps right there in the middle and I, you can't really tell but this is like a, I, a very lightly dyed blue paper I wish you could see that and then it's also tea stained and I won't go through every paper but I'm hoping that, and you can't really, I'm looking at the screen and you can't really tell. Um, I just don't want to fiddle with the settings because I'll probably mess something up. But all these papers have been hand dyed. Did you say hi to Louie? Hi, Louie. And all, all these, they're all different kinds of paper, too. Another strip. I used some invoices. It, it's a blue, a blue page invoice. Did a little collage here. I just thought she was really sweet. Came out of a, it's a book page. I wish, you, I wish you could see the colors. They're very, very pale, but um, very obvious when you see it in person. And there's another of those. So each signature has a digital cover on it. And these are just gorgeous. It's wood and lace and distressed and yummy grunginess. And I believe that is one from the same as this one. Isn't that pretty? So I'm not going to go through every page, but I hope you can see. You can really see the blue here. This was lined school paper. It's got really grungy down here. Got some more little patches. And I also had fun with this tape. This is Dina Wakely. It's just a white, it's it's a like a washi tape, but it's it's plain. So you can do whatever you want with it. All I did was um, distress ink it and oh I forgot to mention I did some this is another addition I did the ruffles down at the bottom of each signature so these are old book pages and they've been all folded Not pretty pale blue So every, every signature, I did at least one thing in it. And I showed this also on Facebook. I, I, was, tearing some, I, I was tearing a piece of paper off. This actually, I, I filled it. I filled this whole book with ephemera. And I, I didn't like it. I mean, it was, you know, old ephemera, and it was appropriate for the book. And I just did not feel like it was right for this book. I think that this book is 
is should be a writing book and um, so I pretty much took everything out and started over on the inside and one of the things that happened was I tore one of the sheet everything was already sewn in and I had torn one of the, the pages and you can see it on my my Facebook I showed the before and after and so I took another piece of paper, a ledger paper, and I glued that down. And then I took some uh, if embroidery floss and just stitched, carefully stitched. And these, these are my ends, and they both end with a flower. And it was just a really pretty way to, I didn't want to cover it up. I didn't want to completely cover it up. Um, because the, the book is so distressed and aged, I thought it just fit in really well with, uh, and I thought I could do something interesting. So I could have just covered it up, but I decided not to. Here is another little collage, and I dyed all of these frames with Distress Inks a few years ago. They're very, very thin. They were made out of cardboard, and it was layers of cardboard, and I was able to peel them apart, and uh, they took the ink really well, but they did take a long time to dry. A little collage there and this I believe is French and it's just a little tip in so we get to the next signature it's in here just another little collage and I think I put a, a flower on all of the all of the collages inside and I have old book pages you know scraps I don't know if you can see that layering but those are all different book pages some lace my cats are going crazy they're being very distracting. They're having fun. And another collage. And I think this is German. And this is French. And I got this out of a book. Um, this just little piece of paper right here and it says it's bumpity bump and it's jiggity jog and I thought that was cute I believe this is a flip up so you can write under there and this just means soft so it's one of those flashcards last signature and just a, little, a piece of that toweling can y'all tell I don't feel good today sorry I don't know it's just the whole allergy thing got me really really tired sew that on So I know my energy level definitely sounds low, and I apologize for that. The 
of this paper feels really neat. I don't even remember what I did. I think it was a piece of wax paper. And I used inks on it, and then I covered it with matte medium, I believe. And it feels really cool. It might have even been a glassine bag that I tore apart. I'm not sure. There's one more. There it is. Just a simple little collage. Another one of those frames. If you want to read that, you can flip it up. And that is all. I need to print out some more of my Grungy Girl um, signature cards. Um, I, I, I need to find some, some cardstock. But I'm going to add that. And all that is is a uh, you know, library book where it says keep this book clean. I mean a library card. And it's a property of the Education Department Recreation Building Furland Sanatorium. Hmm. And that is it. So I hope that's a little bit be better um, flip through than I've done in the past. Um, she is on reserve. I'm not 100% sure, but I do hope she gets it. Um, and if she does not, you guys can always let me know if you want to be put on the list. And I will do that. Just contact me through Facebook messaging. I am going to go take a nap. And I will see you next time. Bye.